Hello, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. Hope everyone is doing El Finio, El Goodio, and all that good stuff. It is 7 o'clock over here on the Pacific Coast. Probably 10 on the East Coast side. Probably. Hope everyone is doing El Good. Hello, El Good. Mr. What's El, El Good? El Goodio. Hello, Jill. From the west side, southwest side. Darla, hi there. Grabbing some goodies. Yeah, I don't know because I want to do so. I'm just going to grab them all. We're just going to grab them all. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. Welcome to our live. Lydia, Barbie, Tina, hello. Um, uh -oh. Oops, there went one. There it went. Hello, Miss Angela, Tina. Oh, no, we already saw hi, Tina. <laughs> Sometimes we have more than one. Melinda, hello. Thank you for sharing. Your dog already wants out. Yes, already. She just came in. Well... She's being a little pain in the butt. Hi, Vicky. Be right back. He'll be right back. I shall return. He always does. I don't know what colors I want to use, everyone. So I, I need to figure that out. What do you guys think? I think I want that color and this color, and maybe a little bit of this color. A little of that color. Heidi, hello, Sharon, good day, Nicole. You caught, I caught you live, nice. Emily, hello. There's all my shimmer colors. Should all be in there somewhere. I'm There's missing my shimmer gold. harvest. Oh, here it is, I found it. I find it? Pesto I purple, it. I know, it's awesome. What? Hi, Becky. The pesto purple. I know, it's one of my feats. They should bring it back. Cop all right. Purple. So I hope everyone is doing good. Yes. Um, and stuff. Mm -hmm. I am feeling a little better. We'll switch places here. Oh, sure, absolutely. Um, Since he knows what to say. It is migraines aren't fun. And then to top it all off, we just got so much going on and it's we been do. craziness. So um, for anyone that is new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Um, after our lives, we get a ton of questions on Chalk Couture, what it is and how to experience it. So for those of you who are new to Chalk Couture, we are a high-end DIY direct sales company that makes chalk transfers, chalkology paste, chalkology ink, tools and accessories that does this. So there you go. That is Chalk Couture in a nutshell. You can pretty much use this on any surface. And um, we get a lot of questions on how to experience Chalk Couture. So there is three ways to experience Chalk Couture. You can shop, join as a designer, or become a Club Couture member. So the first way, of course, is pretty easy. That's shop, our brand new autumn collection. Today we had um, another release of our uh, autumn winter collection. And a lot of people have been saying, gosh, you've had a lot of releases. Normally we just have one release a month, but because of COVID, a lot of our product was coming every week. So they've been releasing stuff. So um, even more stuff got released today and the replenishing it. So the first way is obviously you can support us by shopping. And here is a look at some of our beautiful paste colors and the shimmer colors. We also have all of these surfaces. The 5x7s got released. And you'll know you are on our site because you'll see my little photo in the upper right hand corner. Now, of course, we would love for you to shop our Chalk Couture site, but why pay full price when you have two other options? The next option is our Club Couture program. 
Club Couture is $19.99 a month. And every month you get an exclusive B-size chalk transfer and three pay singles. You get step-by-step -step instructions. For example, this is the ones that we are making today, or excuse me, making this month is our May the Road Rise Up to Meet You. Now, the only way you can get this is to be a Club Couture member of uh, Chalk Couture. But in addition to the transfers, our Club Couture members get some exclusive perks. We do a monthly live. It's usually about three hours. We show you the transfer, how to use it three different ways on three different surfaces. We also send happy mail. We help them with the ordering and any customer service issues they may have. And we unlock a discount every month that is so good we cannot even say it publicly. So Club Couture is really for people that want happy mail every month. They want to experience Chalk Couture. They want a deal, but they may not want to be a designer or are not sure they want to be a designer. Which brings us to our last way of experience Chalk Couture, which is to join as a designer and you can make money. You can sell our products. You can play and make beautiful things and sell it at an artwork show, or you can build a team. It all starts with a $99 starter kit. You get $250 worth of product in that starter kit for just $99, and that will have you out as a designer. Now, the great thing on being a designer is you have the ability to earn up to $631 in free products, and... More importantly, you can earn commission. So this is even for people that may not want to build a team, but they want that 40% off. Joining a team might be your answer to that. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions on all of that, let Sean know, and we're going to get started. All right. Aloha. So we are going to be doing a fun 18 by 18 project today, and we're going to build a wreath using the autumn wreath now this is our sylvie board we'll get down here in just a sec our sylvie boards are a boutique surface which means that they love working with our pacing and we know it is the right one wait chalk tour is down here this lets us know that the top is here i do keep my little corners on just because um we end up selling these so it just makes sense. Makes sense. So here is the autumn transfer. And this transfer, there's autumn wreath and there is also a Christmas wreath. Yes, there is. Any questions you have, let us know. So I'll be looking for it. Um, anywhere you see this cute little, these lines, that lets you know you are going to cut it with our transfer trimmers. So let's go and cut these off. Now the Christmas wreath is a lot like this. The only difference is um, it's got, I think, pine cones and maybe some berries or something. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the big difference. And the leaves are just a scotch different. Let me look at it here real quick. Before you do that, Miss Kelly Walsh. Hello, Kelly. I'm interested in joining, but I have lots of questions. What's the best way to get my questions answered? Email. Email Mr. Ken and here is. Yeah, so here's the difference. This is, it's got more of that holly looking stuff where this is. I think this is like ever, that evergreen material. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right, Sean. Yeah. All right, and since this is the first time we have used this transfer, we need to fuzz it. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. So important to fuzz it. Mm -hmm. So we do not. Tr tr accidentally um stretch it which would be very sad no. oh i don't have my mute on sean uh oh all right thank you fatima for saying such great things about the club because she's in the club and she loves it and it's oh all good we love you being part of our club yes all right so i'm going to fuzz this and then we are going to start we're actually going to be doing a couple things um, so as I find my groove and get everywhere, um, if you do have questions or anything, um, on anything, not just chocolate tour, that is what we are here for. And today was the last kind of big release we had for kind of getting stuff caught up and hopefully it goes back to normal, but yes. I don't, we'll see, we'll see, we will see this, this COVID definitely has us all a little cuckoo all up in arms. All right, we are going to start by putting this. And then the best way to do this, in my opinion, is to make sure your autumn wreath, all of our transfers have a title. 
in the bottom. So you just kind of want to, um, as we rotate, know where that title is. So right here is that title I'm talking about. And I want to make sure there's no bubbles or ripples. And now this is something we are going to have to clean and move because it is a wreath that will go on a second time. Yeah, or even a third time if you want to. But... Depends on how many you want. Yeah. Because just like this would look so boring. What do you mean? There's nothing in the middles. Oh, yeah. It's just like, oh, this is my wreath. Where does it connect? Where does it connect? Rebecca says, I think you should start a vlogging channel. A vlog channel? Yeah. Where we just talk to you about our day? <laughs> We'd never get anything done. I know. We never get any... Like we look like up at the clock and all of a sudden it's like, somebody, how did you get so late? Somebody says you should have a, a day in the life. A day in the life, huh? Yes. I don't know. It would be too hard to do that as a, a lie, but, you know, do bits and pieces of what we do during the day. Like watch us on the, what, what are we doing every, all, all these hours that we work? All right. So we are going to start. I think that looks good. It's pretty center, right? Yeah. I guess I can measure it. Let's see. We measured it. This should be in stock, Betsy. Yeah, I usually try to play with everything that's in stock. So I think both of the wreaths are in stock. And I'm going to start with the wreath on pesto. I love pesto. And we are looking for around, that's a good consistency. Yeah, the cake batters or, or nice, a nice creamy sour cream. It's another good way. It's Pam from New Jersey. That's what? It's Pam from New Jersey. Pam, how's it going? I like stamping. I like turtles. <laughs> you guys, I keep missing on this Ray Dunn teapot. It's a purple teapot. It's got little bats on it. And every time I try to get it online, it sells out in like seconds. Yep. So I need to stop obsessing over it and get back to doing other things. True, true. Tammy Pottinger, um, if you buy the designer package, what commitment will you will be if I sign up? I'm just a hobbyist. So Tammy, you're not a designer, you're just a, um, a club couture or just a... Well, if, if you sign up to be a designer um, and get the like 40% off, um, you just have to place $150 of orders every quarter. I think that's what you're asking. I think so. Because I wasn't sure she was a... Uh... Well, in a Club Couture member, there's no, like, commitments besides mm -hmm. the... You have to sign up for three months. But other than that, there's... We found some kitties in your garage. Yikes. Is that ki kitty cats? Kitties, yes. Caught Little you guys kitties. sitting here feeding my baby kittens by bottle we found in our garage and the mama kid didn't make it. Oh, I'm so Little sorry. Poor little kitty. I'm going to briefly look over at the sink side here. <laughs> look at that. It's blue. What is that? We don't that? we don't understand why it's blue. It's very weird. Is that weird. even with the old camera? Yeah, this is the old camera. Maybe they used to do that? No. Something's going on. But what's funny, that. I stuck, I had a, a I did a, um, a little squeegee over there and it was green. I did a white balance and it was green. It looked fine. I don't know why it's blue. It's got to be something with the cable itself because. It's got to be a setting, I assume. See, and then your, uh, wow, your paste is orange. You must have a setting off on it. I would go back in and see. But the rest of everything else looks good. You're, you've got a black shirt on. Oh, very, very funny. That's got to be a setting in Ecan that you have. Maybe. Yes, Darla, he does collect uh, Ray Dunn. Just the holiday stuff. Uh, Joanne asks. You're looking at your file cabinet at work. Can you use the transfers and paste on a file ma uh, metal filing cabinet? Absolutely. Um, I would highly recommend because it is a, oops, sorry about that, because it is a um, non porous surface to make sure that transfer is very, very fuzzed. But yeah, pop it on there, put so your paste on there. You're, you're going to have to figure out what's up with that camera. 
It it's, might be the cable, but I don't know why it would. Yeah. It's very bizarre. We'll figure it out. Yeah. All right, so because we need to utilize this right away, we're going to clean our transfer. So I put it sticky side down at first, and um, I squeegee the water out. Some people don't like squeegee it, but I... Because we do, since we're using this right away, we want to make sure it's nice and dry. So I just take my pouring squeegee. Does the teapot say Hocus Pocus? Yes, I think yes. so. It's so freaking cute. Mandy said she almost bought one. Mandy Cope. Always bought what? That, that teapot. Oh, Macari has some, but they're like 65, 70 bucks. And it's only $14.99 regular. Hi, Miss Ellie. So it's hard to buy stuff on Macari because they... Uh, they um, increase the price so much. But if people want it, like I do, but if it's not meant to happen, it's not meant to happen. It's funny because I go, I only get back into Redone when it comes to holidays. The rest of the year I can pretty much go without it, but mm -hmm. that, that teapot's pretty cute. It is pretty cute. Should we almost do a uh, real quick blow on the uh, things or are we going to be all right with that? What do you mean? You know, sometimes we do a little hair dryer just to make sure it's sure. not wet at all. So I'm going to just do a little bit of a hair drying on the low. Don't worry. If it comes on, it'll come right off. making sure that there's no water in the cells themselves because once you do that then you get this kind of a wet messy and it may run or bleed through and we definitely don't want to bleed through I right, think we're good are so, we dry yeah I think we're dry so Joanne yeah give it a go if it if it doesn't work wipe it off try again just make sure it's on that flat surface fuzz it really well um, as long as nobody bumps into it, it should stay just fine. All right, so we are now going to turn our wreath. So this is what it originally was. Um, so all we're going to do is follow the pattern and twist it and fill it in. I can get this to... All right. So this is where it normally would be. So we're going to just switch it around. A little overlap there. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what that overlap looks like there. Shaneka asks, how do I order from you? There's a link down below that allows you to go to his website and you can order right there. And uh, you can also become a club tour member mm -hmm. or join as a designer. Yeah. kind of want to have a little overlap, but not, not too much. It should be a little bit. Should I fuzz before using on a burlap board? Probably shouldn't have to because burlap is so, especially our burlap boards, you shouldn't have to at all. Should go right on there. Just make sure it's well, the stickier, the better for that one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go just upside down and bring it back down to the center. Yeah, right there, look at that, perfect. Are you doing a second color or the same green? No, second color, but I feel like it should be right about there. Yeah. Are you going to make more cooking videos for the upcoming holidays? I'll have all your videos. We will be, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I'm gonna grab Shimmer Olive. Look at it, it's so pretty. Ooh, pretty, pretty. This will give it a nice little shimmer look to it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, the Ray Dunn Falyal Gnome mug. Oh, I know, right? I was, uh, I'm almost unhealthy obsessed this week. Like it's made me grumpy because I don't know how people get stuff online. They, there's got to be secret. They know something and I don't know what it is. The Ray Dunn Fall Y'all mug and that teapot and there's a ghost and there is canisters. It's just, our sugar piece does have a pretty smell to it. I haven't even smelled it. I don't close. know what it is, my... but it definitely does. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit of something in there. Uh, Tammy, good question. Does the when does the quarter begin? So every at the beginning of the fourth month of every quarter, starting in January. So if you want to start one, because if so you become our next a designer, quarter will begin October. 1st. October first is when you would want to sign up as a designer, because then you get that quarter free plus one plus, and then the following quarter, which would be at the end of March, you would have to have your one hundred and fifty in by the end of March of next year. If you were to start right now. Okay you would have until December 31st to have your first 350 in. Mm -hmm. uh, 150. Boy, I almost did that too much. Boy, did what too much? I said 350, not 150. You went, oh. All right, I'm going to dry this real quick. I'll mute us for a minute. All right, there you go. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is gorgeous. Somebody had a quick question, I think. Is there any type of material you can't chalk paste or ink on? Yes and no. Um, chalk, as long as your transfer can stick to it and there, it's basically smooth, it should work. Um, obviously like on some pallet boards or anything like that, you might have a gap. So you could have a little problem with that a little bit, but not be much. But if it's really rough, like it's not a smooth type surface and it doesn't want to stick to it. Obviously you're going to have a hard time chalking on that. Inking is pretty much on any type of fabric is fine. Uh, textiles, uh, porcelain, glass. Um, of course, anything that's porcelain glass, you'll need to put it in the oven. Uh, for about 30 minutes. You start with a cold oven, put it in at 350, let it uh, uh, bake for about th uh, 30 minutes, then let it turn it off, let it naturally cool. Once it's cooled to the touch, pull it out and it should be permanent. Um, remember the ink is should not be placed on something that you're going to eat off of unless you're going to spray it with a food safe um, sealer. Yeah. Other than that, don't eat off of it. Other than that, it's very pretty. Most people are going to do it anyway, just for show. Um, Let's see. Yeah, as long as it can stick to it, mm -hmm. it should go on. It's amazing. If you just put in Chalk Tour under a lot of the stuff with um, in on uh, Pinterest and stuff, you'll be amazed what people are putting this stuff on. Um, uh, refrigerators, in, inside your kitchen, refrigerators, your uh, oven, microwave, and all that stuff. Put it right on there and, and mm -hmm. have fun with it. Um, walls, again, it's got to be somewhat smooth. Um, orange, like the the pre or the, what they call a scraped orange peel wall, should work really well. A completely smooth wall will work the best. Some of your some people have walls that are really um, got a little too much, and it may you may have a hard time getting it to stick or even look well. Yeah, but there you go. So I'm gonna use camel, and we are just gonna place it 
And we're going to do this around the board a couple different spots yeah. here. Camel? Yeah. And um, the thing on this is you can see I'm going to lift it up, paste it, lift it up, paste it, and we're going to do that all the way around. And as long as you don't get any paste underneath, you can just keep doing this mm -hmm. all the way around. Or as long as the paste doesn't dry in the actual screen, then you'll see stuff missing. Yes. Yeah, then you just wash it, dry it, and start again. Yeah, gorgeous color combination. You got it, Janet. The Camel um, just got re-released today. It was mm -hmm. out of stock, so... Was it I, Camel or Dune? Dune um, is later. Dune's Camel's right. the right. one that got... And I'm just using our uh, detail tool that's got the pokey in to lift that up. Anytime you do an, a layer on this, so you want to make sure um that your uh any of your shimmer is nice and dry because shimmer does take a little bit longer to dry just a little bit yeah. and it will peel up on you if you didn't dry it nice and good even though um we should be okay though because uh this we have so many layers that are going so if it does pull up a little bit we can always just re-put it down so mm -hmm. let's do i think let's do one more one more on the outside yeah it looks like it almost needed one on the inside up here well we like, don't worry don't Sean. we have more coming oh well, that's right i don't know more is coming how do you like the new t-shirt we just got it today. Just got it today. This is the new uh, teal one, a blue teal. This is what that stuff looks like. Is this blue? What stuff? The the camera in there. Yeah, you got to figure out what's going on there. Uh, All right, I'm gonna go wash this. I'll you dry that, Sean. All right, I'm gonna dry. I'm gonna mute. Be right back. I'm going to grab Shimmer Copper because it came back into stock. Shimmer Copper. And Shimmer, I think this is, this one's Shimmer Harvest, not Shimmer. Uh, um, olive? Yeah. Love the Shimmer Harvest. They're gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right, and we have these two things here. We have um, little, they're like little spruces. Sprigs of Sprigs. Something. And we're going to. One and two. Whatever you want, Sean. You do you. And the same thing, we're just going to follow this all around the wreath in the two different colors. Hold on, hold on. I got to know what the top is. I know, I'm just cutting off the... Because if you even if you have those cut lines, those will go through. What do you need? Oh, you're just. I need that one that you just took. But as long as I got one, then we know the other ones too. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to fuzz. And just like we did on the last one, we are going to follow the wreath and just kind of follow it in different spots. Start here, and we'll do one right here. So we'll have Shimmer Copper and Shimmer Olive. So we'll start with some Shimmer Copper. You know what, actually I think I'm just gonna do Shimmer Copper, because that other one's so close to the So I'm just going around the entire wreath and then all we have to do is pick it up using our tool here 
and then we can place it down again. So quiet. I'm in the chalk zone. Zone. Chalk zone. There we go. So we'll just do these last two. that shimmer and I will let Sean dry and I'll dry you know what that means mute time All right. Is that tool you, you use to lift the transfer a chalk couture tool? It is. It it's is our Molly. Tool tool. It's a new one. That's a new tool I got uh, introduced during Chalk Con. It's we kind of like to say it was Kenny's idea that they came up with this because he kept telling them we need a pokey tool. I need a pokey tool is what I kept saying. And on top of that, they made the other end. If I can get a. This end is like half the size of the multi-tool, so you can really get in some tight spots. If you're one of those people that like to do, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, Multi-coloring and especially like in flowers and stuff, you wanna get that, that one little spot, that one color, you can use that. So we are gonna use Scarlet for the berries. And we're going to use berries in a lot of places and then one more step and we'll be done. That's how easy this transfer is. It's a lot of layering, but as long as you dry in between your layers, you, you should be do. good. Just dry. Ooh, Danette, uh, Danette says, my third grade teacher team wants me to do a chalking class every month. They say it's more relaxing than yoga. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yes, it is. Get there into the zoo in the in the zen, the chalk zone. And no rhyme or reason. I'm just adding where I feel like it needs to. And I didn't want it to be Christmassy berries, so I, that's why I'm using. I think this is rosewood. rosewood. Yeah, that's rosewood because uh, the other one, the uh, the one you said, is a, a little brighter. This transfer nori is called the autumn wreath. Autumn wreath. And then there's a Christmas wreath that's just like it, but it's got more of a instead of these kind of leaves, it's got more of the uh, uh, evergreen evergreen type material. So so you can use your your dark greens on that. All right, I'll let Sean dry that. I'm going to wash this. Dry time.
say anything yet. Okay. I had to make sure it didn't mute. What? Go back. If, we, if I went back to camera four or mm. the red camera would have been muted. I'd say, wait. All right. So I am going to add a little bit of some shimmer in places where I, um, I think it was a little too dry when I pulled it up. And then we'll want to make sure to dry this real good. Anywhere else or... I guess I don't really need to. It kind of... A wreath would be kind of... What do you think? About what? The what? Just fixing these areas it's open. Yeah, just a little bit. You put something in the middle, like a saying. I am. Yeah. Yes. Tammy, reading his mind. You could put just an initial if you wanted. Absolutely. We do have we have monogram initials. Yes. Those look really cute there. Yeah. That would work. It's like those are like four inches tall. I think so. Or four and a quarter, maybe five. I forget. Well, it's a five by seven, so maybe they're four and a half. She broken. I got her. You got them? Yeah, I'll have you start drying this because okay. we have one more layer and we don't want this to pull up. Um, so we're going to make sure that this is really dry, especially the shimmer, because we don't want to pull it up. But look at how amazing it's looking. So, okay, go ahead and dry that All real right. quick. A little I'm going to go get a little. Little mess. Little. Nicole says, I need you to both come to Illinois and come decorate my craft room. I did a lot of decorating tape, but they need a little Ken and Sean touch. Oh, you're Thanks, so Nicole. sweet. All right, so we are gonna end it with this transfer. Now we wanna make sure that this is fuzzed, 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 because if not, it will pull up all of our hard work. So I'm gonna take a fuzzing cloth, and I'm probably gonna fuzz this a good five times. Something like that. Hey, get out of that. What? Are Car? you going in there? Are you supposed to be in there? She's trying to grab a, um, a, fu a magic eraser. Magic eraser. Of course she is. Hi. And then I'm gonna be using Dune. Now Dune is the one that um, Sean thought was in stock and it is not in stock. Or do no, you know what? I wanna do bright white. Bright white. Bright white it is. I think I have bright white down here. Excuse me, my little bug. Where is my bright white? Oh, it might be over by you. Yeah, we'll go. it's right there. Is that going to fit in there? Is that going to fit in what? In the center? You who have little faith. Yep. Is that what it says? Sean, you are more than welcome to do the design if you want to. All right, so this is going to line up right here and it's going on the farthest outside of the entire wreath. So 
it's going to cover part of the wreath and then the saying is going to cover part of it too. Sean's not sure about what I'm doing, are you? No, she doing? Let's see, right about... All right. Looks good? Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. This is where we all pray together. And hope that when I lift it, it doesn't lift up everything else. Can you put more on there if I need it in certain areas? I'll let you know when. Oops. And the nice thing about this lettering is it has distress, so... If you get bubbles or ripples, actually, I don't think I'll need any trim, so I'll just need that. I made Vicky jump when I said get out of there. She just happened to be in her closet. Oh, how funny. Oh, oops. Can I have that? Yep. Luna went under the deck where I... Oh, her Luna. I was going to say, we have a Luna, too. Well, look at that. Voila. Awesomeness. See, Sean, this is why you don't doubt me. I never doubt. You doubted me. I felt it. <laughs> okay, a little, little mute here while we dry. And there you go. What do you think? I'm going to go back to where it all started. What? What, love? Wow, that looks amazing. Miss, Miss Kate Miller. Hello, Kate. Beautiful. Wow, that's perfect. Looks amazing. Love it. Even though Sean doubted me. I did, didn't I? Because he was like, I don't think that's going to look good. It's going to be too busy. I can feel your dowdiness. But it did pull up a little bit of that shimmer where I thought it was. So we're going to fix that real quick. First of all, I'm going to fix this little portion. But it's a perfect matchup of that, that uh, saying. So I love it. All right. So the only places I need to fix is a few of these shimmer spots which will be a pretty easy fix because I was afraid it was going to pull up and it did in a few places, but that's okay. Now that we have that top layer, we don't need to worry about it as much. I was afraid it was going to pull up a lot more, but as long as you buzz, 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 and I didn't place a lot of pressure when I placed that transfer, so... You don't necessarily have to do this. It doesn't look bad. It's just I want a little bit more of that shimmer to reach out and yell. And same here. Hey, anywhere else, Sean, or does that look good? 
You're gonna miss. All right, and I know, don't know if you can see it, there is a little bit of copper where I do not want it, which is right here. And so I'm just going to add a little bit of water in my pesto, because I don't want it super, because it's just a very easy fix. And it's just right here, and then I can just dab it and hide it, and you will be none the wiser. Some of the ladies that live closer are looking at getting together once COVID's over. Oh, I know. Do some talking. We need to. That's awesome. Yes, we've got a place to do it, too. Soon. That should be opening soon, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I have to look. I'm driven by it. There we go. Nice. I'm just going to dry that real quick. And there it is, guys. What do you think? Oh, they all love it. Everybody loves it. It's a good one, huh? So what kind of brush are you using, good. asks Karen. Um, those ones I just got at TJ Maxx. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, I does. love it. Oh, my goodness. That transfer just matched perfectly with the other one. I shouldn't have fixed that. Now it's... Do you think it'll dry normal? Yeah, if you love okay. it. Okay. Right if not, then we have to redo the whole thing. <laughs> Yay! It looks so good. All right, guys. That is tonight's project. I love the way this turned out. This... And I know Sean was doubting me because he was looking at the outline wording I, thinking... I, I thought you were just going to try to get the word hello out of me. Nope. That was it. And I'm going, boy, that's awfully big. Nope. You need the whole thing. Yes. Around it. Gather with grateful hearts. Hayride Bonfire's apple cider. It's beautiful. Yay. All right. So um, we will be back next week. Uh, for another talk to her life. If you guys have questions, let us know. Email us, text us, whatever. And we have to get back to cutting stuff. Yes. More. More cutting. Mm -hmm. More laser. More crazy. So, um, I went from don't want to must have transfers. I like to try to find ways. I always want to do designs that are in stock. And I'm not wild about the wreath at first, but then when I thought, oh, I could do the Hello Autumn on top of it, it kind of came together in my head. So um, I, I love it. And I think it's, it is, it's perfect. I love it. That shimmer olive really pops too. Yeah, it does. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. It's hard in these, in yeah, these cameras so, in rooms. All right, everyone. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye, everybody. If I can find my finish, there it is.